Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to a Thousand Week Reich. I'm your host, I'm Okalava, and right now, we're led by a certain HH man, a very handsome dude, in which we are doing esoteric Germania. In which, how does that read? It was inevitable that the big daddy's interest in mysticism would influence government policy making. The ideas promulgated by the neo volkish movement will be incorporated into the official state ideology of the uh, <clears throat> Reich, yes, and into us paganism. I have discussed in the matter length with the 12th most elite SS commanders. The Big Daddy is elected to go through with some of his, one of his boldest decisions to date, a unilateral denunciation of the Christian religion. Christianity has a few interesting ideas, but it is irreversibly tainted by its Hebrew origins. The people of Germany deserve a religion that's true to the heritage. We're going to lose 40% research speed. We get a lot more re organization gain, which is nice and all, but... Oh boy, oh boy. And perhaps we'll talk about Germany's future as well. A future for the big old empire, which is the last couple things that we can do here, so. The Reich is at yet another crossroads, now that the last usurpers have been gotten rid of. The Big Daddy has the opportunity to actualize some of the big plans he has for the future, in which we have, like, no political power. Also, taking out a couple, like, Saudi Arabia and some guys down here, and, oh. Ooh. Look at this nation. Why does this nation own this, this, this land? That's a very good question to ask. Actually, do you have anything else here? You are a member state of the Confederal Districts. Huh. Well then, um, Fate of Lebanon, this one uh, keeps popping up, so, um, yeah, expand the mines. We're also worth the Russia still, but, I mean, it's just going to be a slog that way, so, yeah, we're still trying to fight them. It is what it is. I'm not really too worried about it at this point, so. Ammo upgrade? Nice. It is, of course, 1963, but which one are we going to do? Hmm. 60, 70. Chemical stuff? Generation of missiles? Oh, yes, please. Anything over here, too? Yes. Ooh, non-lethal chemicals. As much as I would like that one quite a bit. Because you do get more trickle back and synthetic oil efficiency gain and resource efficiency gain. Resistance and struggles goes down. Artillery attack. I think oh, we've already made our choice. I think we already have. Because we can. Because we can. So, we're... You, it's only three divisions here. There's eight divisions, but... Hello? Would you all like to come down here and help beat up the uh, Jewish people? Please and thank you. So, oh yeah, we're looking really bad. Guns are fine, though, actually. Surprising. Actually, not that surprising. Uh, sport gun is pretty bad, too. Yeah, I can go down to one for now, maybe. We need way more of this stuff. What do we have over here? SPAA? Heavy SPAA. Eh, don't really care about that stuff too much. Oh, and we'll get some more of this, too. There you go. Anything over here? Corvettes? Nah, we're kind of okay. Long range subs? Kind of okay. What's our navy? Because I do want to try to take out at least the UK. Wow. Nice. Cool. Well, looks like another task force to me, so go and train. Endorse paganism and Germany's future. Fate to Lebanon. There's not really much we can do about that one, so I'm not really worried about that. Uh, the Selbert occupation, the Bloody Seagull. I hereby request to change a post. The conditions in the university have become absolutely unbearable. A spectacled dude has put in place several mandatory courses, all of which are completely obstruct the plan schedule. We're now required to learn about how the world is created through these brothers, three brothers killing the grandpa, and have turned his flesh into the soil and his blood under the ocean, and a skull into the sky. They make us read fairy tales like the Highland, or the Poetic Edda, or even so-called magical spells like the Mesberg incantations. When we're not learning about the useless drivel, we're forced into working, work gangs to find hidden archaeological objects. The worst exercise is when they drag us out to some random marsh to extol the benefits of connecting to the pr primeval energies of our Aryan ancestors, only for half the class to get sick after they walk barefoot for hours through the bog. Some of these meathead to be op SS officers even go there on their own, albeit just to have drunken swamp parties. Oh, that I can handle, though. Those courses are not the problem. The problem is that they're, what they're doing beyond academia. First, it was just little dolls, then it was little small infants. Or animals, I should say. But then a couple nights ago, they dragged a kid out there. Rumor has it is that they threw the kid into the muck and beat him down wherever he tried to get out. What's worse, it's not even safe to be on the streets anymore. We have to limit operations. Churches have to bring forth to hold dual worship ceremonies and have to accommodate new traditional set altars. Youth groups led by local SS Boy Scout captains are on the power trip, openly beating anyone who hasn't seen their way. Anyone who's still reasonable are still being all sent to the local Wevelsberg. They've constructed these castles everywhere, cult sites is what they are. They drag you here and they string geheim until they string geheim. All they leave behind are mutilated corpses, with each with Germanic runes carved into them. Apparently it's some form of ritual going under the label of the sacrificial string geheim. For these reasons, I beg to be placed anywhere else. The, pa the painted sky should tell you everything. 
Nice. We could go over the, more of these guys, but uh, we're a little busy. We have no political power. We are not at peace, so. Awesome. See, so it'll be nice. Better love when I'm just going to keep firing over and over and over again. So I did ask you guys, uh, like, not last episode, but like two episodes, which way we should go. We'll try to do both. The Aryan Empire declared versus SS Aldenshot Germania declared. So we'll see what happens. Uh, we'll probably continue going down this one way. Because the coronation of Himmler, huh? Hmm. Little Black Buck, huh? Denounce him? New leader, huh? No true prince. He's insane. SS Oldenstadt Germania. I kind of want to end with that one, but a new coronation would not be bad. I don't know. We'll see. What does this one say? At long last, the Führer's dream has finally become a reality. The entirety of the country is now in Oldenstadt under the total control of the SS. From here on out, every aspect of life here will be tightly controlled and disciplined. And the new coronation. The Führer has presented us with an even bolder than ideal than anything we've seen so far. He wishes to crown himself as glorious monarch of all new German monarchy. We should call his glorious new state the Aryan Empire. Not bad. We also get insane, but eh, happens. Coronation of Himmler, huh? Never enough political power, man. Never enough. How are we doing over here? Oh, we're doing quite well. Look at that. Nice. Um, where are we at? Did you guys get down here? Ah, future of the Reich. The future of the German people is on a thin line. The administration must distinguish itself from the failures of the old, ushering the nation into a new chapter of history. This process is not only merely changing of names or flag, it is a change to the national character as a whole, and this phase symbolizes the dawn of a new beginning for the Aryan race. Germany shall be transformed into an Ordenstadt. Wait, were we forced to go that way? Oh. Why can't we go that other way? Did I choose something wrong? Oh no. So, I will probably force our way to go down this one. Actually, Aryan Empire declared. Maybe that was something we had to choose earlier. Uh, you know what? Let's do this one first, and then let's see what this one's like. So look, new coronation. Let's see. Um, focus dot auto complete. Uh, focus. No checks. Just at least to see what this is like. The SS has always been a mysterious, esoteric, and deeply evil organization. Even by the Nazi standards, but even those who knew of its insanity can scarcely believe uh, uh, announcements coming out of Germany. In a bizarre speech relayed by the German newspapers and radio, Heinrich Himmler, leader of the SS, clad not in his usual black SS uniform, but an altogether more bizarre, ancient-looking outfit, declared the foundation of the Greater Aryan Empire, with himself as its first emperor. Despite its totalitarian power, some question whether the rest of the SS can continue to support that seemingly worsening madman. This is insanity! He's kind of handsome, look at that. He's a little insane. And maybe we like him for that. Um, Do we get cooed now? Because we've just had his coup. Uh, we have tolerated... Oh, there we go. We have tolerated far too much from Himmler and his gang of morbid occultists. The quasi-pagan sensibilities have gone too extreme even for the SS's more radical members. The hereditary prince of Valdeck and Piermont has taken upon himself to voice his concerns by intervening to stymie the excesses of Himmler's disastrous wrath. Operation Vanguard. As some SS officers claim Heinrich Himmler's delusions have worsened, Germany suffered greatly from the actions of the deranged psycho psychopath, while his policies of total cultural conversion were already widely unpopular. His decision to proclaim an empire became Germany's last straw. Organized by Josias, Operation Vanguard was launched. A group of two Gestapo officers and battle groups placed Himmler under house arrest, demanding Himmler to announce his immediate resignation. While this coup has the secret approval of many officials, Himmler's forces might be able to respond adequately. We're defeated. Um, you know, I just want to see what this is like. So we'll come back and do th and go back down the other route. So, do not similar. Himmler has made a mockery of the Reich and her people. From here on out, we'll join the ranks of the false pretenders to Hitler's throne. The role of no one town who's a deceiver and an opportunist. We'll just go with F.A. So. Revert Himmler's actions. It goes without saying that the worst of Himmler's policies need to be reversed at once. Anything esotericism needs to be gotten rid of sooner rather than later. So... You can end up leading, huh? Himmler disposed. After waves of ludicrous reforms enacted by the Heinrich Himmler, moderate members of the SS have successfully overthrew the government in a largely bloodless coup. Reportedly, Heinrich Himmler willingly announced his immediate resignation and abdication. Shortly after, open, gr open group and Führer, Josias assumed the role of Reichsführer SS and restored the German Greater German Reich. Whilst Josias is a largely unknown figure in the West, it is presumed that his future policies will be focused on abolishing Himmler's previous radical actions. Himmler is gone. So if we do that, do we get anything? Um... That's why I don't really want to do his coup, because it's really boring, I guess. I don't know. I could be wrong. I mean, I still want chemicals and stuff, but still. I guess we'll do this one next. And then Germany's new leader. The Reich has lost touch with what when it made great. Because Himmler's reforms have gone too far, leadership is in disarray. We'll have to assemble the bigwig parties, party bigwigs and the Reich's various power brokers to find a new leader. 
So, while we're still at war, does this do anything? The true prince, of course, but... Uh, it doesn't seem like there's really much here. Maybe we're supposed to wait? We changed our flag back. That We're just in Odenstadt now. So, this is why I haven't gone to other people or gone up war with anyone else yet. So, I'm going to say so, too, still not too bad. Um, assemble. So, I think that's it for Josiah. So that's honestly really disappointing. If he says he's going to reverse a lot of the things that we already did, I would assume something in decisions here. Weapons development, maybe. Grip on the Balkans. Uh, central listening post, central registry, dis discontented high circles. Oh. Uh, native unrest, SS leaders, German military youth. I'm just saying there's anything different here. National SS credits are nice. Deals, army standards, core, specialized subs. Um, yeah. Oh, question central Siberia. Oh, uh, if you want to read about that one, please go right ahead. I, you know what, maybe I'll read this. Look, paganism endorsed. Look at that. I like that. The various amounts of Russian warlords in the middle of Russia have been defeated by our mighty force. However, this vast amount of land brings up the opportunity of establishing a Russian reserve and entity in the middle of nowhere. Under firm German influence, but of course, it, this is just a political plan that might bring its own benefits. Direct occupation. For Russian Autonomous Republic. To the Rex Commissariat, it shall go. Look at all that. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. See you, Ben. Cool. But, you know, that's why I wanted to do this. And next, we're going to go back in time and not go down that route. All right, everyone. So we're back for a future for the Reich. If you'd like to reread that one, please go right ahead. In which, now we're going to play slightly fairly. And go ahead and do the SS Odenshot Germania. Of course. The well, fewer dreams become a reality. For every, from here on out, every aspect of life here will be tightly controlled and disciplined. Yes. Yes. Very, very much so. But now, like I said, we will slightly do things with, uh... Uh more fairly, but not really, because now we're taking out the Jews. It is what it is, my friends. <sighs> Tel Aviv? I can't wait. Uh, oh, wow. That's a lot of... Why do they have so much resistance there? Do they not take care of their people? Well, there goes the confederal districts. Not even Israel. Alright, well, whatever. Uh, so, oh, uh, we got Gaza. Ah, Israel. Ah, thank you, Israel. Thank you. Looking fabulous as always. Um, it's Port Said. We might have to actually naval invade there, so, um, yeah, we'll probably go to Imperial State of Iran next. This is going to be a really bad idea. Oh, Pal oh, we have Palestine too. Is that P word not allowed on YouTube? I don't know. At this point, as you can tell, if you follow my channel, all my thumbnails, sometimes my titles, not exactly safe for work. The second Tibetan expedition. Ooh. But the Odenstadt will help us out quite a bit. And they'll be done with the focus tree, which is okay. Not great, but okay. They paid a Palestine. Or this collaborative government? Nah. They don't deserve peace. I'd love to go to war with Finland, but we'll do that one probably last. I want to at least take out this, these uh, Scandinavian countries first up here, and maybe try to take out the UK. Other than that, I think I'm going to call it a campaign. I don't think we'll take out America, just because I don't really feel like it, to be honest. So, Cool. Uh, yeah, do that. It's fine. Oh, and you guys go right there. What, what planes do you not have? Like, bro. You are fine. Uh, and the top one is fine as well. So, what is it? No, you're fine. Uh... Oh, they just don't have enough of those guys. Wait, what? 39. Go to 50. There you go. There you go. Should be good enough. Right. Right. Yeah, I definitely don't, don't attack in the mountains here. Uh, they're probably not that weak. A lot of manpower. Actually, they don't have that many divisions. That's actually pretty nice. I mean, this will tear up more of our tanks and stuff, which would be so bad, but, you know, it is what it is. And we just did this one for the Central Siberia. Just transfer the lands. Transfer them. You maybe should have had a Russian Autonomous Republic, but whatever. Uh, so doing okay here. They got gonna have a lot of resistance here, which is gonna suck. Russia, please die. Russia, please. Oh, 
SS Odenshot Germania. <sighs> Black standards flood across Germania as the birthplace of Nazism takes another step into darkness. Heinrich Himmler has formally announced the integration of the Schutzstaffel administration into Greater Germany, and what he terms an Ordenstadt, a new Germanic state dedicated to Himmler's SS alone. While the limited freedoms the old order allowed to exist have already been torn down as SS officers, take over local governance, and local journalists have been silenced virtually overnight. All the rumors of mass executions and nightmarishly large internment camps have reached international observers, many of whom are already scrambling to secure their borders against what looks to be a new black spot of Europe. Disturbing. But welcoming! Oh, would you look at that? My finger slipped. Oh, we're gonna go to war with these guys. Oh, the humanity. Hopefully we can win here. Because if we can't, I'll be really disappointed. We should be able to win, right? If we go this way, just cut them off. Cut them all off. I oh, know, attacking in the mountains is a bad idea, but why are these spirits very cool? What else do we have here? Return Iranian Kurdistan. I don't think we will. We'll give them this, and then just take it away from them again. That's the plan. You go to Mashad. Bandar e Abbas. I might be really saying that wrong. Yeah, as you can tell, I really don't care about Russia. So, yeah. Oh, over oh, nice. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye. Very good. Very good. Antipartisan, thank you very much. Oh, that's a lot of divisions in there, man. Yeah, that's going to be kind of difficult to take out, actually. Harman? Harman? Yes? Okay, never mind. Very good. Yeah, we play as Isaac. Was it Isaac? Or who is this guy? Lammers? Who is this? Hans, huh, Isaac? La Han Lammers? If we go down that way sometime, uh, we will be going down and... Uh, yeah, we'll make a lot of Ordenstadts then. We don't have research speed, so whatever. Oh, wow. Um, sure. Do that too. There you go. Any partisan? Nice. Cool. Well, time to go Afghanistan. Muhammad Zahir, you had it too good for too long, man. We definitely need way more anti tank. Guns are fine. Artillery sucks. APCs. We actually have enough main battle tanks, and we need some artillery too. You're gonna be smart. Just go there. There you go. You're dead. Kabul. Step Dietrich. Oh, we're building a lot of roads up. We probably need more roads here, too. Let's be real. We're getting really close to killing them all off, but still. Cool. Nice. Very good. And we've got him. Oh, can we do something here? Yes. Spellbed Expedition. The journey to Agatha. It's gonna take some time, but that's okay with us. We actually have some positive political power for now. Not gonna last very long, but whatever. Um, Mediterranean no, Union. We need these guys over here, over here, and then... Uh, I wonder if these... Eh, it's not gonna be enough to hold, hold the line there. Maybe here-ish? I don't know, we'll see. Let's give us more time to get some more anti-tanks. So what's going on over here? Yeah, they don't have a lot of divisions. Wow, they have like no divisions left. Wow, look at that. Yeah, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with them having like no divisions. As long as our divisions can still win. Auto scores any. Kut Maya. Armor division defense. Eh, I don't really care. It doesn't really matter to me too much. Infantry expert. Oh, hello. Yes, so good. Happy sixty-four, everybody. Come on, keep going, keep going. We need you to finish off as fast as possible. 
Well, I guess we might as well take out or do the second Tibet expedition. Because then we'll do... Oh, it'd be a peace fest. Honestly, I'd rather just do this manually. So, yeah. You three, come over here. Nice. You wait, come over here. Next pilot promoted. Very good. Very good. Attack Hallies, might as well. Jun to Agatha. A series of research vessels, crashing through the icy waters of the Norwegian Sea, navigate their way towards Svalbard. In the warmer, obscure cabin sits researchers and scientists, poring over the maps of Jorthdith, hollowed out and books such as the goddess of Advadtabar and Simonzonia. In the holes facing the brunt of the inhospitable climate are supposed untimension, rescued from execution for a purpose of much worse and much more painful. They are naked, crammed and chained together, and treated as less than subhuman by the landfall of third were dead or de gravely ill. Those were thrown out and left to die. The sight of Svalbard was magnificent, if not terrifying. Lights of Aurora Borealis jumped around the sky, green and purple. The horizon was crowded, taken up by the jagged black mountains which penetrated high into the air. The researchers set themselves up in the shadow of a massif. Massif. Forcing the Untermension to construct a circle of wooden cabins in the frigid winter. Despite the climate, the researchers and their SS escorts forced the Untermension onto the nearby tundra and began their great digging. Given flimsy tools and prisoner outfits, the Untermension were told to dig into the earth and never stop. Quickly, hypothermia, frostbite, and exhaustion took their toll. The researchers transformed the cabin into barracks, containing nothing which they hoped would alleviate their problems. It didn't, but even though the Untermension were dying at overwhelming rates, the digging went on past the snow, past the soil, into the rocks. They had prepared to sacrifice as many Untermension as necessary in order to reach the goal. The SS escorts followed organizational doctrine, buried, beating down anyone who refused to work, dragging them out into the sea and leaving them to die they couldn't get back. No matter how much blood was split or spilt, the operation continued. Once circumstances proved futile, the researchers and the SS took their belongings in abandoned Svalbard. The Untermension were left to die in their polar blizzards. I wish I dream with my eyes closed. Huh. Cool. And the boys are showing up. Very nice. Ace pilot promoted. Good job, Ace pilot. Good job. Yeah, it might be important to. Expand Baku oil fields, bud. We'll get there eventually. Alright, what do we have here? Fed to Lebanon, confiscation of wealth. German support paratroopers, which we're not going to really probably use. And here we go. Should be able to win, right? Should? Ah, we're still pushing him. Oh, China's trying to kill off Democratic People's Republic of Korea, huh? Oh, go figure. Go figure. Quite the struggle here. Nice. Ashkabat. Thank you for playing. The Song of Shringer La. There was a fisherman toiling away down in the soil to keep salvation away for the day. One day, while collecting water for himself, he sailed down the river. He took the river, and the river took him. Across the forest and through a mile land of pillars, reaching far into the sky, it passed overhead a gorge of absolute serenity before entering the Wahilands. After days of working against the foaming waters, he reached his peace. The river brought him to a cavern where he disembarked and made his way to a valley of looming peach trees. The people there were so unconcerned about the troubles of China, and even though he still had to work to survive, it was his paradise. So this was his heckhole. Corporal Calvite thought. It would be medieval if not for the guns of the hunters. He looked up upon a desolate village in Upper Tibet, locked within the Kunlun Mountains on all sides. It was a perfect location. No one would be able to hear the operation. He looked over to Bruno Beggar, the man from the Ananeba. He'd been to Tibet previously in 39, and so he was the guide. He had also some proven skills, which would be necessary for the completion of the operation. Beggar's last mission to Tibet had been for multiple reasons, from proving Veltaisler to finding plant materials for Lebensraum to satisfy Himmler's interest in Asian mysticism. This time around, they had one goal which they were going to complete with efficiency and in secrecy. Himmler was forming an anthropolo anthropological museum for research into racial science, and he needed artifacts. Corporal Kalvite and his men descended the mountain paths <clears throat> as night began. 
The village hugged a small little lake, and as Kalvat peered over with his binoculars, he felt a strange sensation. He almost felt some semblance of peace. Quickly regaining control of himself, he commenced the operation. Kalvat stayed by the waterside. In the distance, the cracking of rifles and the streaming of families could be heard. Bega walked up from behind Kalvat, whispering, We weren't supposed to use guns. The skeletons will be damaged now. Kalvat responded, If that's the case, then we'll be going to another village. That addicting tranquility eating him up inside. When we sat there, you'll understand. It's been kind of weird, man. Uh, so when do they give up? Venturing deeper. Oh. The expedition followed an abandoned road, venturing deeper and deeper into the Tibetan mountains. Eventually, the team reached a house. The side objective of collecting skull samples have already been completed, yet the main goal remained unaccomplished. Corporal Calvat entered the house while the rest of the team surveyed the perimeter. Inside the house, an old man sat in absolute silence. Calvat approached the man slowly, turning carefully. As he navigated in pitched darkness, we followed the trail. Please tell me it succeeds. Please tell me. I don't want to use consequence to get another event. Mission failed! Oh boy. Our expedition to Bez failed miserably. Bruno Bega, the guide of the expedition, has made a frantic report explaining that a member of his team has gone missing in an action due to extremely superstitious circumstances, and no artifacts were recovered. While we did not expect great results, the Reichsfeer uh, do not take lies and fabricated excuses kindly. While the team was ordered to return to Germany, a firing squad is eagerly waiting for the return. Unacceptable. God, that sucks. What the heck? I just got these guys done, but still. Um, if that's failure, I want to see what success is like. Alright, everyone, so after digging into the game files for a little bit, we got the artifact, actually, indeed. Our expedition to bed actually has accomplished all of its assigned objectives. Bruno Baga and his team have recovered a vital artifact, a formula for Tibetan medicine that is supposedly related to the fantastical Shangri-La. While the true scientific value of this expedition is dubious, this excellent discovery will surely satisfy the Reichsfeer thirst for esoteric knowledge. Return to Jiminy once! I hope something good comes out of it. I really do. Fate of Lebanon, no one cares. Experiment on the self. Oh. The artifacts that were recovered from Tibet have been thoroughly examined, however. The Reichsfeer seems to be interested in testing the medicine on himself. The best true stoppel doctors have been assembled and have deemed that the Tibetan medicine formula is safe for consumption. The Reichsfeer as us in its pursuit for knowledge is not prepared to become part of the experience. Oh boy. Unexpected results. Initially, the medicine did not have any effects on the Rex Fuhrer. Further medical examinations after the consumption see no differences. However, just moments ago in his residence, the Rex Fuhrer SS suffered from a case of stress-induced headache. His physicians firmly believe that this incident has nothing to do with the Tibetan medicine, and the Rex Fuhrer will soon recover after a night of rest. He needs his rest. Oh, crap. The morning after. Oh. After a period of resting, the Reichsfeer SS has recovered from his conditions, demonstrating that his supposedly mystical formula has no apparent effects. The knowledge of the Rex Fuhrer's desire shall be found in another way. He is well. And we discovered the missiles? Um, is that supposed to happen? Uh, I'll be honest, I have no idea. I literally have no idea. I hope that's supposed to happen. Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I, I'll, I'll go digging through a lot of the game files again, but like... I'll be honest, man, I have no idea. Um, maybe we'll come back to that and do that in a little bit, but yeah, let's, let's wait to do that. Let's take out some of these guys. How long are you going to take, man? Go over there, cut him off. Well, that have stuck. Uh, Piper falls ill? Unfortunate. Nice. Just beat the crap out of him, that's all I ask. Just wall up him a little harder. And there you go. There you go. Yeah, nothing else there. Kind of sucks. I don't really care what's ahead of time at this point. Tutosh, can't we go? We're really missing a lot of stuff here. Hmm. Kind of ugly, not gonna lie. Yeah, I don't understand. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we need way more tanks now. Oh, no, we need more APCs. 
That's weird. We always need more APCs, huh? Oh, there you go. Lower this by... Five, maybe? Passive defense? Well, I guess so. Why not? Never mind. This isn't so bad as chewing up our tanks. Just go back home. Maybe possibly can before dying. Oh my gosh, guys. Why do you have to conquer literally every single tile? I hate that so much. Okay, to Lebanon. Lebanon. Leba, Leba, Lebanon. But yeah, I'll be honest. Like, I said I wanted to take out these other groups. At this point, I don't know if we'll actually be able to just because I'm getting... Hello. What is this? Well, you know what? I'm just going to take them out off screen, and then we can figure out what else is next for the adventure. All right, everyone. So right now, I've gone ahead and looked at the game files, and there's not really much, honestly, for this whole like weird esoteric path. As far as I know, like from what I saw, there really wasn't that much. Um, we finished off Russia. Good stuff. I'll be honest. Like at this time of this recording, I don't really feel like taking out the Toronto Accords now. Maybe take out the Mediterranean Pact, but the Toronto Accords, I'm just not feeling them too much. So let's use a few cons commands. You're going to see on screen. I've done a couple of different events, but they're nothing really interesting. I mean, there's only one that details Heinrich Kimmler going insane, but, you know, it is what it is. Cool. Now we're with Spain as well. Let's see if we can actually win here. Maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe we can't actually win here. That sucks. Uh, they're attacking us quite a bit as well. Whatever. Let's see. Can we actually win against these guys? That's my question. Uh, Just hold. Hold for now. Let them attack us. Maybe it's for you guys. You guys come over here. There you go. That's better. Cool. Down East Africa. I don't really feel like using you. There goes Albania. Nice. Can you guys actually win here, though? Uh, we're okay. How's your superiority looking? Pretty mixed around here. Pretty mixed. Can we actually win with the tanks down here? Because I did consolidate like all of our divisions some more, so... It is what it is, but uh, we'll see. Now, can you win around here? You honestly should be able to. Black Knights of the SS Bodyguard killed? Well, that sucks, bro. Bro, that sucks. Um, yeah, it's just really mixed bag. They have a really massive air force, which does suck. We just have some planes up here as well, though. Uh, bing bong boom. We don't have enough air bases, realistically. So, we'll take you 500 and go right here. Took you 500 uh, and go right here as well. There you go. Should even it out a little bit more. Go to Trieste. We'll get him. Oh. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, we were still training. Guys, that's not good. Uh, go home and repair. 34 more ships. Holy crud. Long range babies. You go right there. You guys go right there. You guys go and do this as well. Bay Biscay, do that. And you guys, if you can, come into here, which you probably honestly cannot, whatever, and do that too. Good luck, guys. You're going to really probably need it, in all honesty. Man, you guys really suck. We've probably taken a lot of casualties, haven't we? Yeah, quite a few casualties. That's not really good, no, is it? No, but then again, this is mountains as well, so what do you expect? I expect us to win. These guys are attacking us a whole bunch too. Actually, do we lose a division? How many divisions, how much manpower has we killed off from Spain? Yeah, should have had more uh, air superiority, but whatever. Oh, we're killing off their planes like crazy, though. That's nice to see. Oh, look at that, our sub's actually got here. Nice. Yeah, I think this will be the final war we do. I don't know, I'm just not feeling it too much right now. You guys are doing fine over there. More subs go, or more convoys go bye-bye. Or destroyers as well. Alright, so at this point, we gotta do this. Uh, come up here. We are pushing in quite nicely down here, though. You know, we're gonna risk it. Screw it. Keep going in. We took Tilda in. Keep going through here. Go right here. Break over that river. God dang it, they had someone there already. It's alright, it doesn't look great, I know. But, whatever. We'll fix it. Oh, look at that. Nice. Oh, we lost a sub. That sucks. It sucks some convoys, though. Cool. How much experience do you have now? None? Yeah, it's got a little bit. And you're a seawolf, so you should also have Tribute of the Real Chance. 
Just chuck torpedoes left and right, man, if you possibly can. These guys are putting up, spreading out quite fast, so fast that they put most of their army up here, and they've abandoned most of mainland Italy, which is kind of weird to think about, but whatever. Nice. If y'all could take, just like take Athens, that'd be great. Oh, a letter from Mount Athos. For several years, the Greek autonomous mountain, region of Mount Athos had been protected by great fear of Adolf Hitler. After the leadership of the Monastic Republic requested direct protection during the invasion of Greece. This led to the Mount Athos being almost unscathed by the terrors of the war. This relationship unfortunately came to an end with the ultimately death of Hitler and the political strife that followed. However, a telegram from the Eucumenical Patriarch of Constantinople, Al Athenagoros I, has recently found himself on the fear's desk. With a curious request, a continuation of the policy that had priorly uh, probably held for over a decade under the previous administration. It also make the fear of Heinrich Himmler, the new high protector of the Holy Mountain, and ensure good relations with the Orthodox clergy of Greece. Of course, if only to accept. Uh, sure, why not? It's fine. Yeah, I could be doing this a lot better, but, uh, I don't know, near the end of the campaign, we're done with the focus tree. I wish it was a little more, I'll be honest, I wish it was more with, uh, you know, Heinrich Himmler here. I think it'd be a lot more fun if there was. I want to retreat you guys. There you go. My goal is to capitulate Italy as fast as possible, then we'll be okay. So. Which, I mean, as you can tell, it's not going too badly right now. Nice, no, over random? Great. Oh, hell on a take. Good. U500 go right here, and then, um, where's the other 500 we threw over here? You're all just fighters, huh? There you go. We lost, what, 400,000? Oh, a quarter, a quarter million, that's not bad. How much manpower do they have? Do we lose ships ourselves? Oh. Not quite a bit. Yeah, those guys are gone, but whatever. They'll be back. I promise you that. Anyone else have upgrades? Yes. Here, anyone here? Oh, Henry Kimmel is a field leader. I didn't realize that, huh? Is this getting alien invaded, man? Oh, come on! That is BS. No, I'm not gonna tolerate that type of crap. Uh, go to Bordeaux. Flammenwerfer. Cool. Let's grab that stuff too. Happy 66, everybody. We got Rome. They have 17 divisions there. Holy crap! Cool. Yeah, that's a giant mess. Break over, break over. Come on, come on. Nice. Where are you going? Oh, you go, oh, you have to go through this way. Okay. Yeah, why do I go all the way over there? Oh my god. Italy, just give up. This is stupid. Hmm, destroyed a lot of the fleet. Well, that's a sub or so. That's alright. Nice. There you go. They're so close. I know we're pretty close to capitulating too, so. Um, there you go. Deal with them. Don't really care that much, I'll be honest. Here. Get someone here. Michael Vittman. I know this is not the way I really, like I said, wanted to end the campaign on, but. I don't know, I just don't care. Sometimes you need to turn and to destroy the things you love to make them even better. Go all the way with Italy. And they are defeated, pretty much. 
Good. The Vatican occupation. Rome has fell before Ahmad, and the Vatican City is now under our from influence. There are many options of what we can do with the city state. While under previous agreements laid during the early era, our relationship with the Vatican shall be neutral. The change of affairs in the previous years meant the possibility of altering this agreement. We can either violate the independence and incorporate them into the Rome administration, or we can reform the Vatican City state under the National Socialist Ideology with a new system of government and new laws. We can accomplish this task by suggesting a new suitable pope, which could serve the authority of undermining the Catholic moral authority. Live and let live. We destroyed it. I should come back in another campaign and probably let, like, let it live and stuff like that, but... Okay, how are they not dead yet? Give them time. There we go. My apologies for that. I knew this. we could get them like this, but like... Yeah. Our army's really not that great. But, oh well. Like I said before, though, I, I don't know. I just feel like this should be the end of the campaign, just because... What else is there to do? There's not really not much else. We could go to war with those guys and go to war with the... You know, Toronto Accord, but there really ain't much left. Maybe we'll do it later. Like, maybe whenever we play as the Lammers guy, maybe we will. Let me know in the comments below. Should I do the Lammers guy, or should we not? Uh, if you like to read about these, please go right ahead as well. Occupation of Greece. Um, yeah, direct military control. Hayas Safari. Look at that. Our brave troops have occupied a chunk of Africa. It's Arians burden to educate these natives and show the love the light of national socialism. However... In order to prepare for this great effort, we must first establish our initial policy in the African occupation. While we can maintain a direct occupation of Africa for tactical purposes, we can allow the military to temporarily oversee our operations in Africa, which means forming a grand military government that has the potential to engulf all of Africa. Italian question. A decade of Italians have been defeated by our might. With the Italian mainland finally within our grasp, the question of occupation policies has surfaced. There are two variable, viable options in regards to the Italian occupation. First is maintaining the current direct occupation, while the second one is to establish a transitional regime to determine Italy's fate. Direct rule and not bearing occupation. Cool. Cool. But, yeah, I think this is probably going to be where we ended today. I think I, I think we did really well with our Navy. Like, honestly, we lost a couple of ships here, which sucks, but, you know, whatever. Um, without any air superiority, we still did relatively okay. But, well, okay-ish. Yeah, but, hey, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know, who else would you like me to play as? Oh, before we let go, though, uh, a couple comments as well include play as a Fengshin Dynasty in Khazar Redux. Play as Serbia. How many uh, lists am I on, like, for government spy lists? I don't know, but at least three of them. And Serbian campaign in Khazar I don't know. We'll see what happens. But, yeah, like I said, let me know what, ca what campaigns you'd like to see me try out next, because I would be interested in letting or doing somewhat of what you guys would recommend. Regards, thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.